Oh, look at that. We're going to get the enchantment table. Oh, face plant. What's up, guys? It's Pat, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, we're checking out Lycanite's like Mobs mod once again. And this time, it's going to be Jungle Mobs. And I found, like, a really cool, like, jungle arena to showcase this. I'm loving the creeper faces on the wall. They look so cool. And, guys, I'm really enjoying this mod. I hope you guys are, too. I'm thinking about adding it to next season's Epic Proportions. If you'd like to see it, drop a like on the video. If you get it, like, 10,000, I'll definitely add this one in. It's got so many cool mobs, all kinds of pets and abilities. It's so fun to mess around with. But yeah, let's jump right into this one. Today, it's the jungle mobs. First up is the Uva Raptor, or Uva Raptor. I don't even know how to say this one. It's the Raptor, guys. First up is the Raptor. It's a mount. You could ride it around. It's got some cool abilities, too. It could, like, jump super high and take no fall damage. So for this dude, we are going to spawn him in. He can drop feathers and also bones, so you can kill one, but that makes you a bad person. So look at it. It's already jumping. It's already doing the ability. Are you trying to jump on me? You're so colorful. Why did you have to hit me? It's not nice. We're going to kill it. It's got 25 health. I, like, got it right in the stomach. It jumped on my face. It's like fighting a slime, but a little bit prettier. All right, so you're going down. This is the weirdest battle ever. Okay, so as you can see, it dropped some feathers and also a bone. One way to get that, but you can tame this thing. So what we're going to do is grab some treats right here. The Uva Raptor treat. Perhaps you can tame wood. It would... What? I'm confused. Perhaps you could tame wood. It would almost be like a flying mount. That's not, that's not wrong or anything. It's all right. So to make this, guys, a bunch of cooked con... They're trying to kill me today with these names. It's going to be like barbecue chicken because it says it right there. A bunch of barbecued chicken and some bones like that. So we need a bunch of these. Very important. That actually drops off another mob. We're going to check it out after. It's freaking nasty looking. You'll see. It's crazy. Let me grab these. And let's get all this stuff because you can do a bunch of cool things with your pet. So what I want to do is spawn in one more raptor. No, we're going to be friends this time. I got meat for you. Take it. Take it. Like that. Oh, it wants more. You're so hungry and weird. It seriously wants more. I should have grabbed more out of the chest. All right, I've got two more. If you don't take these, I'm going to kill you. All right, seriously? This is the last one. You're e oh, you know what? You know what? You didn't want it. You didn't want it. Well, you know what? You're not getting anything more. You're not getting anything more. You're going to die because you're evil. Because you wouldn't take the meat. I don't know what's wrong with you. It was a bad raptor. This one is definitely going to want the treat. You want more? Okay, it took two tries. Four is actually a really high amount for this mod. Usually, it's like one or two tries. So this one, I've tamed it. It now has 75 health. And what we can do is we can right-click the dude, which is like in between the chests. You like chests? All right, so what we can do here is shove in a saddle. This is probably the coolest feature. So now I can ride on him, which we're going to do. And you know what? Let me go into survival for no reason. It doesn't really make any difference right now. But as you ride around, you go really quick. I mean, this is some intense speed. So traveling around in that jungle... It's going to be amazing. It can't actually fly. It kind of looks like it can, but you saw it jumping before. And by the way, you take no fall damage. So if you jump right here, you just glide down. That's so cool. So if you're in like a high area, you can just jump down and stuff like that. But it's main ability. You use F. I want to climb up this first. All right, let's do this. So we're going to jump with F. So hit F. Oh, look at that. We're going to get the enchantment table. Oh, face plant. We didn't get it. But yeah, you can see it jumps super high. You take no fall damage. So like traveling around with this thing would be so amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, that is so sick. Okay, so we're going to go down off this dude. What else we can do here is make him stronger. So you need some health back. Have some steak. Just right click him. Gets eight back. We'll get you to full. You're going to be so powerful. It's going to be awesome. I didn't want to ride you again right there. Okay, so you can give him armor too. We've got horse armor. He can wear any kind of this. So iron, I will right click you. You don't have to right-click him. You can go into here and kind of... I didn't do that. Why do you make me get on you? Hold shift, right-click. So in here, I can put it on him. So he's got all kinds of armor that makes him, you know, more powerful and take less damage. So that's the gold one. Give him the diamond one. And there we go. So right now, he's not going to take too much. If I smack him with this, only four damage. So definitely a huge advantage. And the one last thing you could do here, guys. Let's hold shift again. Give him a chest, and he's got 10 slots to put stuff. So let's say he's got, like, you know, a bunch of outfits that he, that he really likes. You can put all the armor in here, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's so much you could do with this dude. Plus, he jumps super high and takes no fall damage. So the next mob we're checking out is the tarantula. It's a giant spider, but you probably already knew that. I think everyone's heard of a tarantula before. So this one is like a jungle tarantula. It's scary. So it can drop string and also spider eyes. It's also very annoying, too. It shoots these really annoying webs. It makes a huge mess. Only has 15 health, though, so we're going to kill it. We'll let it smack me. Go for it. Poisons me. Of course it does. 
what are you doing to the area? This is going to take forever to clean up. You've got problems. So, yeah, let's get one more for fun here. This one is just going to die. No, you stop making a mess. Stop making a mess. You're a horrible person, spider. And I did want to point out, guys, these do disappear over time. So, disappear. Like, as I said it, I feel like that was magic right there. That was beautiful. The third mob is called the Conbo, and it, you know, it drops poop. It's it's really weird, actually. You get, like, a poop weapon. So, I'm going to kill this guy. Um, He can also drop cocoa beans. So, cocoa beans and poop. It's all right. It's actually helpful. It's, like, the best poop ever. So, this is him. He's, like, a little bear, maybe. So, I'm going to kill you. You've got 15 health. He doesn't seem to want to fight. So, attack him. He's very happy. And let's see what he dropped here. So, he dropped, you know, some poop and also some cocoa beans. It's a cool way to get cocoa beans in a... In a weird way to get poop. So you can do something with this, guys. You can actually craft it into the poop scepter. Yeah, I don't know what the mod creator was thinking with this one. So you take a bunch of poop and you take um, two blaze rods and you get the scepter. And you could also just throw this if you want to. It's kind of gross. So what I'm going to do is grab some mobs and we'll try this out. All right, guys. So I'm going to spawn a zombie pig man so he doesn't, like, go after me right now. I'm going to take a hefty thing of poop and throw it at his feet. So you just can you, can you get in there. Just, just get in there. So right now he's got slowness and nausea. So that's the effect it gives if you throw it. But of course you want to save it up and use it on the scepter. So I'm going to do this. And let's see what happens. We'll hold it back. Look at that. It hurts him. It puts these effects on him. And it's launching massive amounts of poop at him. So definitely worth keeping for the scepter. It's so odd. I mean, I can just see this as being funny. Like playing with your friends too. It's actually a weapon that does a decent amount of damage. And it holds mobs back so they can't even get next to you. I just feel so weird right now. So the next one is called the Consipede. And it's basically like a giant centipede that is the size of you. Well, bigger than you. It's really, really scary. I don't like this thing. It's nasty. I wrote it on this sign. You're a nasty mob. But you can breed this, which is worth it because it drops a lot of food, which eventually you can craft into tropical curry. So it can also drop string. So what I'm going to do is spawn one of these really evil mobs in. Oh, we got a little one. I want a big one. Okay. A little bit too big there. Okay. So I'm going to kill this thing. It's giant. It's creepy. I can even break like parts of it. So it has like multiple segments. It poisons you. Where did you even come from? So it's dropping all kinds of meat. You get tons of it. If you kill one of these giant ones, you'll have like 20 meat, which is amazing. And the cool feature is you can actually like breed these and get like amazing amounts of it. Did I get exactly 20 after saying that? That is pretty sick. So I got a bunch of meat. I can cook this and it's even better. So we're also going to be testing out like how strong this food is. But one thing you can do with it, guys, is you can make it even better. So take the raw one, you cook it and use it. Not for this though. For this, for the tropical curry, bursting full of exotic flavors, bouncy. So to make it, you need a bowl, you need some vines, you need cocoa beans, and of course, some cooked meat. So this is actually really good. Like, all the food in this mod is pretty amazing, actually. So what I'm going to do is get my hunger down a bit, and we will test out all the different foods. My hunger is way down now, and I want to try out this tropical curry. I haven't tried it. It gives you three bars in Jump Boost 3. Wow, the jumping stuff from the jungle is amazing. I guess it makes sense. You know, traveling around in the jungle, there's a lot of jumping to be done. I mean, it's, it's a high place. You got to jump up these trees, and this is going to be helpful. So pretty cool. Gives you some hunger. You could also jump. If I have some cooked meat, I'm thinking three bars. Yeah, three bars for that. And if you really want to eat it raw, I guess you could. So this is only going to give you one bar, and it, it puts slowness on you. Slowness three for like 45 seconds. Never mind. Don't eat this one raw. It's disgusting, apparently. As I mentioned before, you can breed these dudes, so I'm going to get in, like, two of them. Okay, so I've got vegetables. They love them. Please, please take the vegetables. Okay, fall in love, fall in love. Stop, stop doing what you're doing. Okay, they've calmed down. Please breed with each other. I don't like you at all. You know what? This is a tough one. This is by far the hardest one to breed that I've seen. Let's get another dude. Oh, my God, you're so long. You're going to kill me, aren't you? I hate you so much. I think we could all agree it would not be easy to try to breed these things in a survival situation because they attack you so viciously. But guys, I did realize one thing. They actually breed a little bit different than normal animals. So I'm going to get you guys to breed here. And instead of like breeding with each other like normal mobs do, it seems like they kind of just increase in size and get like an extra segment. So they do grow and there is more of them and you get more meat, but it's really weird. It's so strange. They don't have like little babies like animals do. Instead, they just get bigger and bigger and creepier. We're on to the final mob now, and this one is called the Gekin. 
Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but those things will breed with any kind of vegetable. Like, you know, potato, carrot, anything like that will work. I just can't imagine having, like, a garden of those things. Not a garden. They're, they're, they're not garden things. A farm of them. That's what I meant. A farm. I couldn't imagine having a farm of those creepy bugs. It would freak me out. But yeah, we're onto the Gekin. It jumps super high. It's actually really annoying. And it can only drop a bone. So I've got the spawn egg already. So let's just go with this. So this dude, let's go for it. Look at him jump. He seems like so proud of himself. He's like a frog and a lizard at the same time. It's weird. That's what happens, you know, when they, when they get together. This is their, like, offspring. So I'm gonna let him hit me. It poisons you. It's super annoying. If this thing jumps on your face, you're gonna be very unhappy. And sadly, they only drop bones. But I guess it's cool, you know. You're gonna need bones for your bone meal. You might as well, you know, kill a bunch of these dudes. Let's get a couple here. All right, here we go. So let's fight two at the same time. You're dying, lizard face, frog hands. You're dying. You're gonna go down. I really hate being poisoned so much. They just jump right on your face. I feel like so many mobs in the jungle do this. It's gonna be horrible traveling around. All right, guys, so before we end this, I did want to show you, like, all the rare spawn versions of these. Because sometimes they spawn, like, insanely awesome. So check this out. So the first one, we'll start with the Gekin. And, oh, second try. We got, like, a Keppel Gekin. You just jump at your friend. It looked like it for a second. So it's got extra health. It's stronger. So on occasion, you're going to run into, like, real challenges in your world with, like, insane mobs. Let's try the Raptor, dude. All right, there we go. Come on. Need a cooler one. These already look like amazing in my opinion. I love the models on some of this stuff. Come on. I know you exist. All right, there we go. We got like an awesome violet one. I think Jen would love that. Plus, you could tame it too, guys. That is so sick. It has extra health, but once you tame it, sadly, it goes down to normal. All right, so the next one. We are onto the Kanba, this weird little dude. Let's get a different color. Got a violet one. I like that. Okay, so for the tarantula, let's get an insane one. Come on. I know you're in here. You exist. I think I just got like a baby one. Ooh, I really like the scarlet one. I love the red. It'd be sick if it actually put down like red webs instead. I'd love that. Okay, so for the final one, the most annoying mob ever. Ooh, that is so cool. So we got like this green color right here. So as you can see, there's all different kinds of varieties. Tough mobs, pets, and a lot of amazing stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.